welcome back to my channel i'm gonna start off by using my la girl pro concealer in fawn to conceal my brows i do not put any product onto my brows just because they're too thick so i'm just going to clean them up and then i'll come back to talk to you guys through the eyeshadow look Okay, once, the, once you're pleased with your brows, I'm going to go ahead and use Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand. And I'm going to cancel out my lids using this as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to buff it out using a BH Cosmetics thick brush. I don't know what these brushes are called, but this is a BH Cosmetics brush. I did go ahead and set it with the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Ghani palette, that nude color at the top. I used that to set the base. You can use your setting powder as well. Then I'm going to use the Lick and Lash Beauty palette. And this is the only palette besides Juvia's Place I'm going to be using today. I'm going to take that coral orangey color and I'm going to start putting that in my base blending it out and then i'm using this pink color to put right on top of that i'm basically patting it in i'm not swiping too much going into that same palette using that neon pink and i'm going to start pressing it on the lid Then I'm going to go in with a shimmer color from that same palette I did not show you, but the only shimmer color that's in that palette, that's what I'm putting all over my lid. Juvia's Place Warrior Palette, I believe. No. Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, something like that. I'm going to have them down below so you guys can check it out. I'm going to use this, this NYX Glitter and the Glitter Glue. I'm putting the glue and then I'm putting the glitter right on top. I try putting a lot of glitter just because I want that to fill up the whole eye. And then once you're pleased, you're going to go back in with that neon color and fix up around the glittered area. I'm going to show you the neon color. Wait one second. This is the neon color I'm going to be using, so I'm going to mix both of them together. The one I used to put in the eyelid, on top of the eyelid. And this makes it even more intense. I'm going to go in with that shade. That's the shade that I put on the lid at first, and I'm just going to dust that on my brow bone just to highlight it a little bit more. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Put that all over my face so I can have a nice smooth base. LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Corrector. Everywhere that I have dark marks. I'm blending it out with a small buffing brush from BH Cosmetics. Keep in mind when I'm done blending, I did go on top of it with a little bit of LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn just to cancel out that orangey color, but I did not get to show you guys that step. <laughs> NARS Radiant Foundation in the color Marquise. Shake it up. Make sure you shake it up. I'm using one pump and uh, Real Techniques Buffing Blending Foundation Brush. I'm going to buff that into my skin so I can get a nice skin-like look. LA 
LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn again. And I'm going to put that everywhere that I want to be highlighted. I'm going to leave this at a place so you guys can see exactly where I'm laying this down. <laughs> Tart shape tape in the color tan sand everywhere that I want it to be more intense my bridge of my nose under my eyes and then I'm going to use a real techniques brush to blend that out so it's not too you know in one place Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Earth. Everywhere that I want to contour. Tell me why you got give me that way. You know what it does to me. So baby, what you trying to say? Lately, all I want is you on top of me. You know Beauty blender, taking my time. Take your time and blend out the concealer. I got you, I got you dreaming. You close your eyes, I am screaming. Play with your mind for no reason. I know you love how I tease it. You know that I'm playing, so don't be mistaken. You already know what I'm thinking, boy. Why do I have to be so cute? It's impossible to ignore you. Yeah. Why must you make me laugh so much? It's bad enough we get along so well Just say goodnight and go 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 Just say goodnight and go 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 Now use your same foundation brush and buff in the contour Try buffing upwards so it's not going to be all muddy all over your face and this is going to make sure that everything is precise on how it needs to be. Stipple it into your skin and just go all around the hairline taking your time. I did spit this video up so I am actually taking my time. I'm not moving as fast as you see. Sephora Micro Smooth Powder just to set the creases of my eyes. Sasha Buttercup to set the rest of my highlights and on top that area. This is just going to brighten up the eyes even more. So for a micro smooth to set the rest of my face everywhere that I put contour and foundation. And now I'm going to use this Ruby Kisses contour powder in the color RMP13. And I'm going to set my contour with that as well just to darken it up a little bit. It's impossible to ignore you, yeah. Why must you make me laugh so much? It's bad now I'm going to wipe off the powder, and I so did put a little bit of Sephora Micro Smooth on my brush before applying it to my face. Juvia's Place palette. I'm using that berry color and the orange color to blush my face so I can get some warmth. And I'm going to mix these, Faso and the color above, and I'm going to use that as my inner corner tear duct highlight. Mm -hmm. 
lick and lash beauty palette same colors i use on my top of the lid i'm gonna use it at the bottom of my eyes to complete the look just use any mascara that you like i really don't like this mascara so i don't recommend it I'm going to be doing some DIY bottom eyelash extensions. Today I'm going to be using my Chop It Touches lashes in Sha. I am cutting off some of the lashes to be able to do this look. I did have a video last year showing you guys how I do my bottom eyelash extensions. So yeah, super easy, super simple. I'm just using regular eyelash glue and I glued it underneath. I'm using a small scissor just to cut it down some because I don't want it to be too long. And take your time because you don't want to cut your real eyelashes because my real eyelashes are long. So, yeah. I'm using my same mascara and doing the top. Now I'm going to do my lips, my favorite part. So, my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner, I'm going to line my lips. I'm using two Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, one in the color Milkshake, and I forgot the name of the other one, but it will be down below so you guys can check out the description box. I'm just blending it with my finger, then I'm going to put the Milkshake on top. Blend it in. Keep in mind, this is very light, so if you don't like too much of a milky lip, I don't recommend this combo. Going in with my gloss. I'm gonna gloss up my lips i just feel like this looks so pretty and classy and just like cute it's giving me very cute vibes i love it this is basically the look i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my eyelashes in style zell i will have it linked down below i probably only have like three left so shop my lashes they're almost sold out and i'm just going to put them on making sure that they're a little bit more to the edge of my eyes because i want it to give me a nice wispy look and i'm gonna put on the other side and this is the look this is super easy to do super quick it looks difficult but it's not so if you guys try this makeup look out make sure you tag me on instagram don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what other combos you want to see for my makeup and i will definitely see you in my next one bye Thank you.